Hi guys, today we're going to do a vocabulary lesson for some 3D shapes. Before this lesson, please go to your email and check it, and please get your vocabulary cards if possible. And there's another page called Foldables, and then you also have some shapes that I sent you. Please take those shapes and have mom and dad cut them out or help you cut them out and fold them so that we can um, use them, but don't put them together yet. So you'll find in your email um, the materials, the manipulatives before the lesson. So I'm gonna pause the video so you can get that. All right, today we're just going to introduce four of our 3D shapes. So we were doing 2D shapes, two-dimensional. Those are flat and we worked with some two-dimensional shapes. Now we are going to be working with three-dimensional shapes. They are not flat, so they are a solid shape, and usually you can put something inside of it, or it already has something inside of it. It's a solid. All right, we're going to learn four today. You have a couple extra vocabulary cards that talk about rolling or stacking, and we will get to that, but we're going to just learn the shapes today. All right, the first shape we are going to learn looks like this. So find your card, and your card says this is a cube. All right, let's learn about the cube by taking our cube manipulative and finding it. Let me grab my basket. All right, so I have it all cut out and folded but not put together. All right, so a cube looks like this. If we're talking about one, we would say like a die or dice if there's more than one, that would be a cube. The unique thing about a cube is all the faces are the same size. I want you to remember that. All right, we're going to go over your um, shape. So it says, I am a cube. I have six faces. We're going to learn a new word. With three-dimensional shapes, we call these faces. So the faces, we're going to count the six faces. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six faces. So in a way, those are like the sides of the shape. Each side is the face. All right, and then it says, I have eight vertices. So when you're talking about a cube, I'm gonna take the one that's already um, together for me. Then we know vertices are where the two sides meet. One would be called a vertex or the vertex. So we count it, we go one, two, three, four, five, six. And here they're very pointed. So you could say like the point where the sides meet. So those are vertices, and a cube has eight vertices. We're going to learn something new. We learned faces. Now we're going to learn about edges. I have 12 edges. On a 3D shape, if you go along the side here where the two faces meet, that is called the edge. So we will count the edges on our shape that's already put together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is a cube. All the faces are the same size on a cube. When you put your shape together, it will look something like this. After the lesson is over, put your shape together so you have your shapes for the next lesson. This one is a cube. Our next shape is called a cylinder. Cylinder. I think the cylinder might be my favorite shape. So if you have like a can of corn, um, that would be a cylinder, a can of soda. And cylinders are kind of cool how they come together. So let's look at our manipulative of a cylinder. I'm going to find it in here. It says, 
I look like a drum. I have one curved surface. So when we put this together, this is curved, right? This is our curved surface. And I have two flat surfaces. So the top and the bottom are both flat. I have one curved surface. I have two flat surfaces. It says I am a 3D shape because that's what we're learning about today. And I am a cylinder. The thing I like about a cylinder is I think it's pretty cool that a rectangle ends up making the outside of a cylinder. If you take off the label of a soup can, then it's a long rectangle. I just think that's kind of neat. This is a cylinder. We won't count vertices. There are no points, right? So we're not going to be counting the vertices. And then we won't be counting the faces. With the All right, so this is our cylinder. Here's two examples of a cylinder. One's a fat one. Long skinny one, cylinders. All right, the next one is a sphere. You don't have a cutout of that, and I even lost my manipulative from school. So this is like a ball. All right, we look at our sphere. It shows a basketball, a sphere. A sphere is curved. We're not going to be able to count um, any vertices. There's no points. We're not going to have faces on this object. This is a sphere. All right, that leaves us with a cone. So let's look at the cone. First, here's my cone. And then let's learn about a cone. All right. It says, I am a cone. I look like a party hat. I'm a 3D shape. I have one flat surface. In the cone, where's the flat surface at? It'd be here, one flat surface. I have one curved surface. Surface right here, curved, one curved surface. This is a cone, so when you put yours together, it will look like this. It can look like a tent, it can look like a party hat, right? Your cone. All right, we learned four shapes. Let's go over them. This one is a cylinder. This 3D shape is a cube. This 3D shape is a cone. And don't forget about this 3D shape, which is the sphere. I'm going to use these, these pictures again, but we had some students that sent in pictures with a 3D shape. All right, so ready? I'm not going to give you the answer until the next mm -hmm. lesson. I want you to remember and try to figure out what 3D shape modesty has there. What 3D shape is that? What do you think that is? I'm not telling you this time. What 3D shape does Scotty have? What is it? What's it called? I'm not telling you this time. And this is a preview for our next lesson. Seta E is holding a 3D shape that we have not covered yet. It's kind of like a cube, but it's called something else. Can you try to look that up? The faces are not all the same size like on a cube. And it's a little white there, so it's kind of hard to see. She's holding the earbud case. All right. In our next lesson, we'll go over this and send me some pictures of you with a 3D shape if you want to be included.